Hey, welcome to Space Arena, the ultimate Python turtle graphics game tutorial, part four. In this part, we're gonna be creating a separate player class. And you're probably asking, why would you do something like that? And the reason we do that is that although the player is a sprite, it's gonna have some different behaviors to the enemy. It's gonna have some different behaviors to the power up. It's gonna have some different attributes and things like that. Okay, so in the case of the player, the player is going to have a heading and a direction and things that the basically the enemies and the power-ups don't really need. So we do, so, sorry, so to do that, to fix that, we're going to create a separate player class. Now, what we could do is I could just go ahead and copy this and paste it and make the player class. That would work. But that's kind of an inefficient way of doing things because we don't want to delete what's there. We just want to add something to it. So watch what I do here. I'm going to type a class, uh, make a class called player, and watch what I put in here, sprite. So this is a concept called inheritance. And you notice up here, okay, so I got my player class, I got my sprite, and so just so you know, everything's kind of appearing as I type it. What I can do is when I do my constructor, in it, self, I'm gonna do the same X, Y, shape, color that I did before. Now I can change these, but I'm gonna keep it the same for now. Okay. Now watch what I do here. This is gonna get kind of interesting. I'm gonna type sprite dot in it. And then I'm going to type in here, self, zero, zero. And let's see, for the player, the shape is going to be triangle. And the color is going to be white. Now, I could actually go ahead and just, I could actually go ahead and do the shape and color. Let's do it that way, keep it easier for you. Okay. So then down here, I'm going to go ahead and type player. Oops. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and run this and see what happens. Okay, notice there's been no change to the behavior. So let's watch. Let's look, take a look at that again. So what I've done is I created a player class that is what we call a child. <clears throat> Excuse me. You might hear it called, be called a subclass as well of the sprite class. So what has happened here? Because I initiated or initialized, I should say, instantiated the parent class, sprite and sprite. And there's a different way to do it here, but I always like to do it this way, uh, so it's very clear which what the parent class is. I have said that the player is a sprite. So the player automatically inherits, which is the keyword, inherits all of this from its parent class. But what I can do now <clears throat> is I can actually add things to the player. So for example, the player might start out the game with three lives. Uh, the player is going to have a score when it starts the game, which is pretty darn cool. Okay, so right now, what this tells you is that all sprites have this in common. But only the player has lives, only the player has a score. So what this allows me to do is to add methods to, that the player uses, but the other sprites don't use. So this is a concept again, called inheritance, where you have a parent class that has the basic attributes and methods. The child class inherits those attributes and methods, but then adds its own attributes and adds its own methods. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that to get our player moving a little bit better. So I'm gonna go ahead and add an attribute, self.heading, and when I start the game, I want it to be facing up. 
Okay, so zero is to the right, 90 is to up, 180 is to the left, and 270 is down. And I'm also gonna add something called dh, which is the rotational speed. Okay. Actually, let's, let's, let's call it da instead of dh. Okay. Um, so that's the change in angle, I should say. It's probably a little bit better. Okay. So, oops, this is what happens when you talk and type at the same time. Okay. Now, what I wanna do is this is the delta angle. So now I need a different update method for the player. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. Because now the player has something different. I'm gonna say self.heading plus equals self.da. So the heading is gonna change by the delta of the angle. All right, so it's getting a little interesting now. One thing I missed here in my rendering is uh, pen dot set heading. Actually, no, I'm gonna say what I'm not gonna do that there. I'm gonna go ahead and do this down here. I'm gonna go ahead and change the render method as well. Let's do it that way. I'm gonna say pen dot heading. Actually, it's set heading. Sorry, set heading to self dot heading. I think that's going to work. Let's go ahead and run it and see what happens. And we should see the same thing, I think. Okay, so it's still working. But notice how it turned up. It's now facing up a little bit. So what we need to do, now this is where it gets a little bit interesting. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set the players dx and dy to zero. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and maybe just take out these lines. We don't need those. Okay, is that what it's set to? Yeah, so I don't need to add that. I just need to, did, needed to not do that down below. So we don't wanna add any extra code we don't need. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and rotate our player. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a method. I'm gonna call it def rotate left self. And when I rotate left, I'm gonna say self.da equals 10. And I'm gonna also do rotate right self, say self.da equals negative 10. Now notice, this is a little counterintuitive. You would think that positive numbers rotate right and negative numbers rotate left. They do not. Okay. Um, so what I need to do at this point, okay. well, I should tell you what, why don't we go ahead and just set this to, to 10 and see what happens. So we'll just set it to 10 from the start and watch it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, okay, so basically for these, we have to set the heading to zero. Uh, that was cool. Pen dot set heading to zero because um, they don't they don't have really have headings. Um, yeah. Okay. So now my player is rotating. Now we don't want that to happen the whole time, but that's the gist of it. Um, but we don't want the other players, the other sprites, to rotate because what happens is because we're using the same pen. Once something's rotated, it stays rotated. So we have to reset it back here. Okay. So this is kind of part of the programming process. You test it see what's going on and kind of figure out why it's happening. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and set that back to zero. And now this is where it gets a little bit interesting. What I wanna do is I wanna be able to use the arrow keys to rotate left and to rotate right. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna go ahead and do the keyboard bindings. And again, this is specific to the Python turtle module. So, you have to do win.listen, and this sets it up so that it listens for the keyboard. And then on key press, 
So when I press the key, I want it to call player.rotate uh, left. And the key I'm going to use is the left arrow key, so it's capital L-E-F-T. And then win.onkey press player.rotate right. And we use the right arrow. Let's test that and see if it works. Okay, turning, turning. It's actually turning really fast, which is, which is fine. Okay, so you can see how this is working. I've created a method in the player class called rotate left. And what that does is it sets the DA, the delta angle, to 10. So that means each time step through here, it's going to rotate 10. Now, your computer might be faster than mine. You might find that 10 is way too fast, and you might want to set that to 5. Okay, so you'll have to play around with the numbers a little bit so that it works as you want it on your computer. Okay, so and this, this might be a better speed, actually, 5. But we can play around with that later once we get the game set up. Now, probably what you want to have happen is when the player releases the key, you want that to, how do I put it? You want the, the rotation to stop. So let's go ahead and make a new method called def uh, stop rotation self. And then we'll just say self.da equals zero. Okay. And to get that to work, what we do is down here, I'm going to go ahead and copy this. And instead of on key press, I'm going to use on key release. And I got some noise outside. And the method is going to be now stop rotation. Stop rotation and stop rotation. So when I release the arrow, left arrow, stop rotation. When I release the right arrow, stop the rotation. Let's test that. Okay, so it is working. Okay, which is pretty darn cool. All right, I think I'm going to stop, stop that for now. Because uh, the next part requires a little bit of math. But uh, let me just review that real quick. And it was a lot, but again, this is not a beginner tutorial. This is for intermediate programmers. So I expect that you would know some of this already. So we've got a sprite class, which is our parent class of the player class. So because this is the parent class and we've initialized it, the player class inherits all this stuff from the parent class already. So the X coordinate, the Y coordinate, shape, color, dx, and dy. It also inherits update and render. But you can see here we've actually changed the update because it has, how can I put it, because the player has an extra attribute that we need to account for, so I need to make my own update method here. And also because of the heading, I needed to go ahead and change this. Now what I could do, actually, let's go ahead and do that real quick. I'm going to go ahead and change that. Um, is I'm going to go ahead and give each sprite a heading. So self.heading equals zero. And then what I can do now is I go self self.heading there. And since the heading is going to be zero, it'll be fine. So then I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this render method for now. Okay, so that way I can cut down on the code a little bit and keep it a little bit simpler. But in the update method, I do need to ha add this because there is no rotation for these objects. Now what I could do, I could go ahead and do self.da equals zero. And then if I do that, then I can put this up into this. And then I can just get rid of this. This is actually probably a better way to do it. Um, I may end up needing, needing to add my own methods later. But for now, let's go ahead and just do that. Let's, let's try that. So I hope you didn't stop watching it that, before I did that. OK, so I'm testing it. Everything's working exactly as expected. Okay, and actually, I am going to need to change that update method later. But we'll get to that in a future video. Okay. So again, hopefully this is making some sense to you. If it doesn't, I would recommend watching this video again. If you don't understand how I did what I did here, the rest of the program is not going to make any sense. So if you have any questions, you know, shoot them down below and I'll try to answer them as best I can. Okay. Good luck. Stay tuned for more.